Hello everyone, my name's Brian. You can of course find me streaming here live at MintyG2020. We're doing a little bit of Valheim today. It's been a hot second since I was back here. Uh, last time, we just did some general build. I've kind of gathered some resources in between now and then, and I think I want to kind of expand my area. So, we're going to try and build a castle today, or at least start building a castle? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that one out. But yeah, I'm going to jump right into it. So, let's get going. This game has definitely kind of taken over my comfort zone. Just to have something to play around with. Something nice and low stakes. For some reason my lighting is being a little bit weird today with the angle of the sun outside, so things are a little bit strange. So, since I was last year, I've kind of built myself a little hall to stay, you know, kind of as my main place right now. But I want to expand from here. We need something a little bit bigger. And because, you know, it's Christmas somewhere, we got to wear the uh, little Santa hat. I know they call it like a gnome hat or something, but Yule hat, never mind. Style of gnomes. Oh, not quite there on the harvest. Uh, we've also built some kind of fancy crop growing spaces. Even though, like, it looks really nice, but this uh, kind of sucks for growing crops because you can't grow very many. But, you know, I want something nice and aesthetically pleasing. I'll probably have my main farm away from there where I can just throw things down willy-nilly. <laughs> that and eventually I need to start growing uh, over in the plains once I beat that fourth boss. I think today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on, on taking down this big ass wall and expanding outward. This wall kind of keeps a lot of the riffraff out but this wall here it, it just needs to go. It's the time. <laughs> so we have plenty of stones and the like to start constructing getting rid of things. We have to craft a bench over here. Uh, where, where are we going to place you? Anywhere? Anywhere? Bueller? Bueller? There we go. Time to start tearing it all down. And now, when the trolls come to attack us, our base is going to be nice and open and ready for troll attack. Just exactly what we want. I mean, that's, that's what everyone wants, right? Trolls just attacking left and right. Um, so our goal today, we have to kind of fill this in a little bit, and then I think I want to try and attempt to make, like, a castle on the hill kind of thing, overlooking the ocean. That's kind of the goal, but we'll see if it actually happens or not. Nice thing is you can just get rid of these bottom supports, and the whole rest of it just kind of falls apart. Some games definitely don't do that. They aren't nice to you like that. <laughs> but this game does care about gravity and about support systems. What's holding up everything, so you actually do have to build supports. <laughs> oh, that's fun to watch. downside of these stone tables is you have to keep picking them up and placing them. So they do require iron to get the, uh, the stone cutters. Somehow you are not familiar with this particular game. Valheim is another basically just world crafter, kind of like a Minecraft. Pretty simplistic, but 
there are some nice advantages to it. There are definitely some things that I would like them to add though, but they've been updating quite a bit, which is very nice of them. Couple updates a month. Okay, uh, what's our requirement that we're missing? We have wood, we have space. I don't know why you're saying, oh, still showing me as being little, little buggy still every now and then. That is definitely something that's still up with this game. Uh, and all of our iron is still back here. There is an encumbrance system, which kind of sucks. You can get over encumbered. That's fine because we're just going to throw it on the ground. And we got iron. That's all we need. The deer make such weird noises. Originally, I kind of conceived this part as like walls going into a port, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it bigger. We're gonna make it better. It's gonna rain rocks. I should totally get another. Okay, we're gonna grab another cart really quick, just for the overflow. One of those is filled with stones. One's filled with sticks. Primarily gonna need stones here. These carts, the physics on them, real, real wonky. And I mean, heck, they get hurt just by running over things. Vaguely annoying. Go ahead and park that there. And clean up a little bit of our mess. Thankfully, the majority of the things that once you build them and destroy them, you can just kind of harvest the resources again. Which is kind of nice. You don't really have any loss there. It's one of my most hated things in crafting games is when they, like, force you to not get back all the uh, resources you spent. Just let me craft. Let me do my thing. this really quick. Ooh. JK. JK lol, that wasn't working quite how I wanted it to. Uh, put that there, put that there. Hey, I can see things now. We're a little bit cramped, but that's okay. <laughs> now I can actually see chat. That's more what matters to me for the one or two people showing up for today. Actually, no, screw this. Too small. There we go. Gonna need to level this ground out something that I neglected to grab was my leveling tool. I think it's not too far. Gonna try to avoid building out into the water because that's the most annoying thing to do in this game is trying to build on the water. It just is not a great experience. <laughs> oh no, we need 
wrong one. We need the stone cutter for that. wood. Everything's coming up millhouse. There we go. That's all I wanted to do was break that. Uh, still a little bit too much encumbrance. With encumbrance systems, of course, being the best thing ever in games. Blame the Elder Scrolls. but we're no longer encumbered, so, you know, I'll take that. Kind of a victory. The one place you don't get a good return for your investment on uh, resources is the ground leveling. You pretty much never get back what you invest in that, which is kind of annoying, but, meh, gameplay. Leave our leveling tools and a nice little storage over here. Oh, seed storage. No, it's not there. Okay. Uh, where are my leveling tool? I think it's back over this way. We'll probably want to grab a cultivator too. Leveling tool only works so well in this game. Same with the uh, cultivator, it's all kind of finicky. But you get used to it. All righty, where do we start? That is the question of the day. Don't think I want to disturb the bees. I'll disturb them later. Get this cultivator here just in case. Another weird thing about this game is you do have kind of a, yet again, Skyrim style of, oh hey, we're going to use this ability multiple times and they'll level it up. Okay. Um, I'm going to fill this in a little bit, get rid of the water. So I think we're going to build the castle kind of coming off of the hill. Really should pull up like a reference or two to kind of go off of, but eh. I'm just going to play it fast and loose with this. Eh. 
And we need a workbench. If we want to raise this ground a bit. Anywhere? Anywhere? Anywhere flat? Kinda. Close enough. Add ground to the ground. Seems like a plan. Unfortunately, this does use a ton of stone very quickly. So you gotta kinda have a large amount when you wanna start really building. Probably the resource I've used the most, honestly. Even more than wood. And just like that, we're out of stone. It happens so fast. Leveling tool works kind of weird. It levels up to basically the height that you're currently standing on, which gets awkward when you're like moving and trying to level. Also gets awkward when you have floating bees. What I might do is create like a basement type thing down in there. It's gonna be a big project. Thankfully this Leveling doesn't require any uh, any dirt use or any uh, stone usage. Always good to have stamina potions on you for when you're over encumbered. Kind of a must. Alright, this is still going downhill, downhill. How big do I want this thing to be? Pretty freaking big. Pretty freaking big. We've got the resources. We can do the deed. We need to bring stone cutter over here. Let's go ahead and level this. It's gonna be kind of our basement area, storage. I think is the way I wanna look at it. And kind of have this be the end of it. Maybe have it go all the way from like over here to, eh, yeah, that looks like a good start. Kind of outline that as the uh, the base. Is that bones? Why do we have skeletons around here? 
fuck is going on? Time for a quick nap. So temptation is going to be to make a rounded castle or something with turrets, but I mean, it's it's a pain in the ass to make rounded things in this game. The snap system is all well and good, but it just it doesn't work great. If I'm being honest here, so maybe we can extend that out over there and then castle, castle, castle. We are going to need supports. So for the time being, let's go ahead and overlap these. These are pretty finicky about where they can be sometimes, which is slightly annoying. Floor time. I'll lay out a nice foundation. Problem is, if I try and bring this cart down here, it's never getting back up. Okay. Or we could go those kind of blocks for a textured floor. Those cost three, those cost six. Or we'd need eight for two of these. I mean, that looks okay, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it for this uh, foundation. Kind of like the every other. So primary goal of this is don't get attacked by trolls randomly while trying to build, because that's annoying as hell. Good way to screw up your build. Of course, that one always can't always be uh, controlled. Just because the way this game works sometimes. Sometimes trolls just come and ruin your day. And I'm not talking online trolls. I mean, that happens plenty as is.
amazes me how fast you can go through stone. I'm already through almost a cart full. And all I've done is fill some holes and start building foundation. Stone cutter, you're officially in the way. That's one thing this game doesn't have that Minecraft does have, is this does not yet have a uh, just like crafting mode, which would be very helpful. This game you have to go out and earn everything. Okay, so the interesting part about this is going to be building the support structure for the upper layers. So I don't think it's going to be as easy as it seems.
also the snap system in this game works well up until it doesn't sometimes it's just super finicky So stepping out here, taking a look at this thing. Do we go the classic four tier with rounded tower over here, rounded tower over here, tower up there, tower up there? Or do we do and kind of entrance in the middle? Or do we do single tower, single tower, connect it to the back? Maybe that's the way we go. As I said, these round towers are going to be the hard part of this, to say the least. Um, so maybe, maybe, maybe. Can I do one in between, maybe? It's the problem with this whole snap system. Sometimes it wants to do what you want to do, sometimes not so much. Or we could just go rectangular. That would work too. Hard to say. Maybe build the frame first and then do the towers on the corners as kind of an accoutrement. Just kind of make it fancy on the back end. That's maybe how we're going to do that.
Let's make this so high that we blot out the sun. I didn't slide down these cliffs. Trying to look as menacing as possible, running around with you know this WWE belt on, carrying a pickaxe, wearing a Christmas hat, you know, got to scare the monsters off. Prepared that hoe.
pretend the world saves. It gets real framey. Come on. Go into your place. Close enough. use the cart, but it's disappeared into the hollow grass. And we're gonna have to go get a new cartload of stone soon anyway. That's just the way it is. not being built right. Not being built right at all. Got a nice basement layer going on here. It's gonna be interesting to build the support system in. With bees buzzing the whole time. Yeah, I think that's more than enough space for the uh, the bottom level. Otherwise, we're going to get too tall. We can always dig down. I know they tell you not to dig too deep, but it's fine. Thankfully, no ball rocks to uncover. Would be kind of cool if there were, but you know. Can't have everything. Okay. Time to decide. Right about there? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Supports. I guess, yep, we're gonna have to build some too deep supports because that's not going to work otherwise. Dang, and we're going to need a lot of them. Huh. What 
if our other layers were simply wood. It'll stay up there longer, right? Yeah, perfect. The stone flooring is just too heavy. That lets us aesthetically put the pillars every two lines, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's do it that way. Something's just not sitting right about that to me. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Like, the spacing is not good over here, and that bothers me. Mm, not as good. It's basically, like, right there. I guess we could try that. gonna make for a lot more pillars though. But maybe that's fine as long as we just put them around the outside. I can deal with that. It's not horrendous. I do however need wood. And we need to build all this around a stairway. That's something to keep in mind. Got too much wood. Yeah, it looks nice coming out of the mountain. We will need some supports for these. We'll probably end up going with wooden supports, so we'll need to go grab some uh, core wood. Question is, do we want to build the flooring fancy and offset? Maybe just the center. Just like checker piece the center.
do the exact same around the edges too. Just for continuity's sake. I'm very much a fan of keeping things somewhat symmetrical. build in here too. Okay, so since this is our entryway, I think this is where we're going to go one more deep and then start checkering it. Just for some visual difference. We'll go two by twos. So I think good way to do this. Give us a nice border on the outside. Nice clean look to it. Oh, and we still got to create our stair step, too. Should actually maybe do that before we do this, but, you know, whatever. What ifs, what ifs. Probably put it back over going up that way. Wish there were different colors of wood. Oh, yep, screwed that up. Guess I could always go, instead of wood, could go stone. Okay, so head's gonna get caught on the floor there. That's a problem.
right, those are not going to be weight-bearing enough. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to go take a rest, and then we're going to go grab some core wood. I think that is what we're doing. Time for them pillars. It's even the bees think, though. It's foggy. Foggy, foggy, foggy. I can't see shit. Oh, we need core wood pretty bad. Okay. Well, thankfully, we're right next to the Black Forest. Oh. What are you doing in here, mate? Get ye gone. Get ye gone. I was hoping to avoid all this chop chop, dig dig kind of stuff, but you know, sometimes you're just a man on a mission. It's what you gotta do. Hey, friends. Come here. Come here, Great Orbs. I know what you want. You want nice axing. Ooh, blueberries. And that's one thing. I wish you could get so blueberries and raspberries would actually be a harvestable crop that you could grow and, like, actually make it sustainable. Currently, you have to go running through the forest to find them. You can't plant any seeds. And, like, if blackberries have told me anything in the real world, uh, same with, you know, basically raspberries, same thing. It's going to be pretty easy to grow. I know that's not quite how that works, but, you know, hey, close enough. All I remember is being traumatized as a kid. Had a raspberry bush in my childhood home. Uh, definitely found multiple bees inside of it on accident one time and kind of left a mark on me for strawberry bushes ever since. So there's nothing quite like being a small child and being stung like five times by really, really angry yellow jackets. Which, they're the worst. Let's be honest. Yellow jackets, terrible. They just keep stinging. They don't die after the first sting. They're just like, nope, you've invaded my territory, you pissed me off. We're going. It's go time. Mummy, I'm just playing with my wood. Family friendly. Maybe not.
Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Okay. Uh, we got a big friend over there, so we're gonna... We're gonna stick back. Unfortunately, all this chopping, I do believe, like, brings them in. So we're gonna back off a little. Because, I mean, fighting a troll with the uh, Drugger Fang is not hard, it's just annoying. More than anything else. You need to go away first, though. Then we have obsidian arrows, so we do a S ton of his health. That little book kind of sound effect. That's right, Hoover. Hoover up that troll. Oh. <clears throat> Headphones meet gravity. wins. Flawless victory. Oh man. Just finally saw the uh, new Mortal Kombat movie this last week. I still think I like the original MK movie better. Like, it was cheesy and bad, but in great ways. This one, while being okay, and like being one of the better video game movies out there, it, it just, it's trying too hard. It's trying too hard. Also, Raiden is kind of useless. There's a random training montage. I, I don't know. Kano's kind of a good guy-ish from the beginning before he shows his true colors. I know, spoilers. Kano being the bad guy. Never saw it coming. Just, just never saw that coming. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It, it's got some issues, to say the least. Also, they freaking kill off Goro, like, as one of the first Nether Realm fighters, or Out Realm fighters to die. Like, friggin' Goro. He should be toward the end. It just makes no sense to me. Why would you kill off your, your forearm monstrosity so quickly? Okay, we have uh, a little bit of core wood to work with. Not anywhere near enough for what we actually need, but, you know, we'll make do. We'll start off here. Even though I did name this stream chopping and chatting. I'd rather do less chopping and more building. 
More build, build, less dig, dig. Nice thing is we're going to be able to expand all this out, build a couple more houses. Get this nice waterfront property over here, or a little Stonehenge kind of thing. I do realize this is a little bit messy at the moment, but we'll clean it up later. Okay, here we go. Like, wood iron poles would be nice, but I don't have enough iron to waste on that. Unfortunately. The downside of these is they actually go straight through the actual ground. But that should give us the support we need for the time being. Okay, so we're back to the pattern. Pattern. Yes, yes, no, maybe. Yeah, man, if those are only different colors, I guess technically you can let weather and it becomes a different color. Kind of annoying to have to do that though. I believe those are going to be our supports. I think those might be the only two we have to make. That would be nice. If that is the case. straight boards all the way across okay got it got it got it and then is built into the mountainside
It doesn't look like we'll need any more supports. We're learning as we're going. Definitely gonna need some lighting down there under the under the ground here. Okay, so we got two places coming up. That's not too bad. First floor or ground floor. Um, we have our little cave down here. Tiny bit of light escaping through right there. We'll see how bad the wood supports are as far as how this is going to go with multiple floors. I have a feeling we'll probably need to do a bit more. Also, need to figure out a way to get a proper intro going in here for the actual stairs. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to definitely need some pillars underneath here so that is not gonna work otherwise Let's see if we can pillar through no that's too much of a gap Gonna leave that like that for the time being. Fortunately, we don't have a good snap. Yes, we, we have gone back baby face, unfortunately. I definitely miss it. How's it going, Junior? And yeah, we're we're rocking the uh, semi-naked man with a wrestling belt and a yeah and a hat, keeping it nice and cash here. Switch on over really quick. Yeah, having fun. Just keeping it nice and easy. Building a castle. Um, a base over here needed to expand. I wanted to get rid of the giant wall that was here, kind of cutting off the sunset, because I want to be able to see the sunset. So we're building a small castle um, into this cliffside. We're going to have a nice sunset view. That's all that really matters. Speaking of, it's time to go to sleep. Nice. Got to get that Opus 13. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, make sure you get that Sarah Mobius foil or that, uh, that beautiful full art, actually. Speaking of, one sec. Let me let me pause here for a sec. had to uh, find my way back behind the green screen where all the fun stuff is kept. Uh, 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 uh. You mean this this lightning full art? Okay, so she is weird. Uh, the dark space on her is a lot like the uh, the Camelot was. So it's like super, super dark. Uh, her, her swords, though, light up kind of nicely. Let me, this is going to screw with my green screen really quick, but... Oh yeah, eh, I'm becoming a zombie. Her swords are pretty awesome though. Whoa, that's trippy. Trippy. 
turn that light off. It's doing bad things. Yeah, there's there's some really fun stuff. By far, my favorite card in Opus 13 so far is Une. Um, but you know me, I like them big summons. I like doing big dumb things with my summons. Yeah, that lightning full art's kind of crazy. People were listing her at like 500 bucks. No way. No way. Trying to get his bag. I'm not sure what you mean by his bag. Also, I saw um, uh, other Jeff the other day. It was good to see him, Jeff Dance. He's definitely was eyeing the Opus 13. So I went to pick in, pick up my stuff and saw it there. You know, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so I'm starting back up the shop sometime next week. And hopefully, fingers crossed with Kate Brown, what she just said like yesterday or the day before, um, when the state gets to 70% vaccination, she's basically going to lift all the restrictions on indoor stuff, she said. Um, so hopefully, you know, we have actual indoor play soon. Um, Kevin and I were talking a little bit last night about what we're going to be doing, like what we kind of want to do for, oh, bags is in money. Yeah. 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 So hopefully we'll have indoor play like maybe June. That'd be really nice. I like miss events. I miss running events. I miss events at the store. Okay. Snap. Snap. Thank you. Snap map feature. Oh, wait, this isn't Doom. Yep, my uh, shot two will be kicking in. Let's see, I think I have next Tuesday, I'll be two weeks out from that happening. So I'm super excited about that myself. Go out and live that uh, vaccinated life. Be able to, like, do things again see people and do things crazy idea oh this workbench is in the middle of the world yeah I'm, I'm looking forward you know go to a bar see a movie crazy things like that even though I Sounds good. Yeah, I'll probably still be on. Probably be on until about five or so. So I will talk to you later, Junior. Okay, so we need to figure out what we're going to do for the next level. How high up we want to take this thing. I think I want to go pretty darn high. want to get high, man. Oh, no, we're missing a requirement. Oh, no, we're missing another requirement. She's using up all of our resources. All this stuff that's now trapped underground. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's kill that. Let's accidentally activate our Ekthers for no reason at all. You know, like you do. Uh, now let's wander on back. Man, why is it doing that? Here, one sec. Chat is... No, no, it's not. I don't know why chat is doing that. Show icons, do all that, do all that. Emotes only. I don't know, I gotta screw up, screw with that later. I hate that it's bringing up that stuff for everyone. Whatever, we'll just switch it off chat. Go back to, oh, don't wanna press that button. That button would get us kinda borked. I'm carrying too much, that I am. But 
we're carrying it into the sun. Table over there. Table over there. Stone cutter, like, right there. Probably should build another one. Okay, good to go. So I think this we're going to make a big open hall. Or at least have one side of it be open. nothing down here still that I actually need. Yeah, actually there is. There is plenty. We need more stone though. That's what we're out of. Without getting stoned, we can't properly build. I mean, having wood is good, but it just doesn't do the same. I mean, it, basically it goes, we need to get stone to have wood, right? Pretty sure that's how that works. We might have some building materials ready. Been doing a little bit of clear cutting. off the side hustle here that I've been doing my clear cut at. So my starting altar and this is what I've been using for most of my wood and a bunch of my rock resource going through here. So what I'm kind of thinking is going down this path and maybe building some kind of building on stilts out there in the water maybe and then turning a good portion of this area into crop harvest. Sure, I'll have to use a portal to get to it, but I think I'm fine with that because this is a nice open area for crops. Eventually, I'm going to cut out a little bit more on each side, too. So if you look at my map here, I basically cut out this kind of swath. And I could just do a nice big old line across the whole place. Just deforest everything between the altar and Nick there. Not saying that looks like a flaming butthole, but, you know. We'll pretend I didn't say that. <clears throat> Portal to hell.
Five stones will travel. Go up the stairs. Make it. Come on. You know you can't. There you go. Whew. Sometimes just not sure if you're going to make it in life. We could use another stone cutter over here. So our boundary is pretty close. I guess we could make kind of squared parapets. Problem is you can't really make a spiral staircase very easily. So they'd be pretty much just for show. Yeah, we need another stone cutter here. Where, oh where? It's my iron. There you are. There you are, iron. Just why I need you. Okay, slightly less of a nuisance. need stairs when you can just run right up the wall. Oh. Maybe stairs would still not be such a bad idea. Hey. Hello, piggy friend. Give me that meat. So we build up here too. Be real tall. And we could keep building it back. Make it like a squared Minas Tirith kind of thing. fix that hole later. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, we're just going to go high with this. I'll make this place real big. Like four stories, maybe. I actually don't know what the upper limit in the sky in this game is. Like, Minecraft, there's definitely an upper limit to building upwards. It's not easy to build down either in this game. I see you trying. It's weird that's giving me the uh, red prompt up there. It's like it doesn't need the support. 
this friggin' giant wall. Why would it need the support? thing about building this hillside is it does make it easy on this backside. Gotta be a little bit wary because I think if I fall off this I just kind of die. You know, eat a little bit more, make it so that doesn't happen. Oh no, my stone cutter. We're going to have to take some of these out and create windows later. So that's going to be kind of a pain. Oh, that didn't work. If there was some way that I could, like... Like, trying to think of a way to make a moat. I need to bring that all the way over here somehow, and I don't think that's going to work. be nice, but... Yeah, it's just not happening. Need to do a little bit of research onto actual. Oh, do we do it that way? There, there. No. Um, research into actual like ceiling types, so we can actually have a design to it, not just a little bit of. Oh, hey, here's here's a board here and a board there. But that'll be for another time. Oh, rain. I don't want you rain. Well, it's going to change the color of all that, that's for sure. Uh, no, 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 stop. Problem is, it's a really ugly color. I wish it was like darker, not this kind of greenish gray that it becomes when everything is damaged. When it becomes damaged goods. So that one goes over there. Um, we need to figure out our next stairway to another upper level. As I said before, there's really no good way of doing like a circular stairway or anything like that. So that just goes into a corner and you can't really 
make it connect is the problem. So I guess I need to decide how far up I'm going to have this thing go um, as far as the roofing. And maybe we just make this a big open area cause over here start second floor and then second floor it up over there. Move that for now. Really wish it wasn't raining. Okay. So we want to go double wide. Just because I think it looks a lot better. dark or we could do a central like right in the middle middle yeah well it's playing the spooky music at me I think we need to go sleep. Ooh, our tasty meat is done. He's tasty. Stairway up. Oh, let's go up one more floor. So that's going to go up. We'll create a little bit of floor way from here. Um, main is going that way. too dark to see. At least on my screen it's too dark. My secondary screen I can see it, but the uh, brightness is a little bit different on this first screen, to say the least.
right, so we're getting to the tolerance limit here. We need to place some pillars. Questions, do we go all the way over? I think we go all the way over. Well, that tells us that. Okay, okay. Let's see how it is, game. I'll see how it is. Eh, I could go stone. Okay, um, hmm. Not enough support for that, apparently. You'll learn new things every day. So that means we're gonna bring that down one. Yeah, I hate to do that, but I think we have to. Break it on down. Breaking it down, boss. Don't want to break those walls, though, boss. Shaking it off. And that's a movie I've not seen in a long time. Cool Hand Luke. Steve McQueen. I just had a thought. What if we went both sides? That'd be kind of cool. Okay. So, instead of stairs here, we might need to bump back a little, though. This needs the same amount of space. We can do that. Mm, that wouldn't be going into the side of the mountain, though. I guess we can do that in the central area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Sc screw, screw this whole thing I've been working on. Burn it all down. Much more aesthetically pleasing. Break down the walls of Jericho. As I said, it doesn't really matter. You get all your resources back. So you can do this as much as you want. This, though... Okay. So. We're going to go from both sides. Does that give me an upper room? For a three. I think that'll give us an upper room. check for our height though we need to go a four not a three okay got it so we need enough room for four and four that's not gonna be it
Yeah, this will look much better. Nice grand staircase. That we can hide stuff underneath. Probably need some actual supports though. Try not to use too many of these because I don't want to go looking for more core wood. That'll let us keep the front area nice and open. So I think what we're going to do with that. I don't know, all work in progress. And this is only the second level. We are going to go higher than this still. Oh no. Hopefully all that takes is a workbench. But none of these are covered. So we can't use it. Womp womp womp. Um, do we have one down below still? Nope. Got rid of it. There a dude over there? No, that's just deer. I thought I saw one of my barriers going. Always accidentally hit that stupid button. Sack while I take a look at something here. Attacked. Okay, it's just here. Certlings could be a lot worse. Okay, they're in my base. Come on, guys. Why well, you gotta be like that? I don't have armor on! Okay, you guys can stop at any time. Stop destroying my building. And I'm on fire! This base is on fire! This base is on fire! Okay. Really? Another one? You can stop at any time. Like, seriously. They just keep flooding in. So I guess while they keep doing that, I'm just going to keep killing them. Well, 
I'm gonna be getting cores out of this at least. I kinda need some more. I only had like 10 left. Okay, you can stop it anytime. Yep. Yep. Alrighty. Vengeance time. Joke's on you. This time I'm wearing armor. Or at least pants. Pants are better than nothing. Eh, sure. Let's take bronze mace. That should be enough. Let's do this. I forget if Frostner was on my corpse or not. That'd be kind of nice against these guys. Oh, shoot. Um, we only got... Okay. That's the end of them. Thank God, because we didn't eat any food. And... Yeah, I only have 25 health and no stamina. That could, like, actually be a problem. teaches us for going out and running after those guys naked and not paying attention to my health. Uh, okay. Okay. Throw some of these onto my corpse. Get back the stuff I actually need. Get rid of some of this other stuff. Still trying to figure out why my chat is showing all that crap. Okay, show my. There we go. That is fixed. You actually gotta know what you're doing on Twitch sometimes, and that is not me. Me, I just tend to flail a lot, just pretend, you know, I know what I'm doing, and just let things happen. Got too much. We're too stoned. Got all this coal to pick up. Gosh, just leaving the crap all over the place. I mean, it's not nice. Uh, we're definitely going to need to fill this in a bit, too. Should have taken some food off my corpse and had a bite to eat. Gotta love corpse food. The best kind of food. Uh, oh, we did take a little. Okay. Better than nothing. Mainly needed for the stamina. And we missed one of these. Great.
Okay, so this is Mace Buckler. Mace Buckler hat. Okay, cool. It's an aesthetics thing. I mean, I don't have to be quite as pedantic as that, but my OCD. It only wants me to do certain things. Oh, uh, it's almost, and it's almost sleep time. Okay. Still carrying way too much. Drop some crap off over here. Oh, geez, there's stuff everywhere. Um, yeah. It's a mess up in here. Like, who organized this place? I mean, seriously. It's just the worst. Somebody needs to get a cleaner. So the whole purpose of like building this castle is so when we randomly get attacked by things like that, they stay on the outside, not the inside. So as you can see, it gets a little bit messy. A little bit annoying. But we just make do with these things sometimes. Anything good down here? Wood and bronze. Oh, they destroyed one of my carts. Those little bastards. Still have too much crap. What am I doing? We're getting sidetracked. I'm like, what do I have that's so heavy if I only have one stack? It's the coal and everything else. Corpse run. Yeah, it's all dark and spooky out here. I get it. Soon, castle, soon. stuff I don't care about. Get the sausages. We need some more stew. Sadly, we don't really have the things to make it. Need to go check up on and harvest some turnips. From the world's most inefficient harvesting but hey, it looks nice. But it's super inefficient. <laughs> Sitting in one position too long never feels great. Tasty mead. No, uh, no, go away. Dang it, Steam. Steam, why? Why, Steam, why? What I ever do to you? Alrighty. Where were we? In the middle of this clusterfuck. That's right. Okay.
I need real wood. That's what she said. I think we're going to make kind of a balcony level and then leave this whole half for the most part untouched. Is I think the plan here. Does that actually match up? No, that doesn't match up. Just dark enough that I'm having a hard time seeing it. When in doubt, just build stuff and your encumbrance will uh, naturally go away. Doing it the hard way, you know? Okay. Is that gonna break, the A&A? Maybe not. Okay, cool. Guess we won't have to worry about that one breaking. That is very nice. Yes, seagulls, I agree. Very much wish I was at the beach. I have not been to the beach in over a year like a rarity for me. I mean, that's doable, but I kind of want to leave these open. And I guess we're going to need to put a log there, too. Cool. Ah, I am always honored by being graced by your presence. Always, always honored. I've uh, just been screwing around here since you left. Um, building this never-ending... Thing that I'm building. Started off building one staircase and then totally destroyed it, deciding, no, I want to make this cool double staircase. Because aesthetically it's more pleasing to me. And then I'm waxing poetic about the fact that I haven't been to the beach in over a year and I really want to go to the beach. <sighs> like the idea of just actually sticking my toes in the water and the sand and just listening to it. That's that's what I want to do. Wow, so my, my lighting is really weird today. And apparently I'm entirely gray. 
which is ironic because I just got my first uh, sunburn of the year. But on here, my lighting has me entirely gray. I need to screw around with that. It was doing weird things with the, uh, the green screen earlier. Everything that I'd had set up just kind of broke for some reason, as per the usual. You know, OBS has fun times with uh, stain with the settings that you have. But I'm gray with a little bit of pink. Symmetry's sake. And then I guess we have to go out one, maybe? Yeah, because that's gonna bug the crap out of me if I just do. Well, we could just make that an actual, like, staircase. Except for that's not gonna work. There we go. Junior, are you excited about any particular decks in Opus 13 that you're looking forward to try? It's kind of, the format has turned out to be kind of uh, good stuff, good stuff, and more good stuff at the current time. At least that's what we've kind of been seeing in our own stuff and some of the online results. Oh, jeez. Can't see. Can't see. My world. Ah. Uh. Who turned on the shaky cam? Yeah, that's fair. Not being able to like actually play physical in a long time kind of does that. gonna say a good place to start though um, if you want just something solid that's cheap to build and will give you consistent results mannequins are actually kind of scary just because of the consistency of the mannequins you have quite a few searchers um, you have cost reduction for the X death um, thought it was gold as for a sec so I had to catch myself uh, it's, it's weird. Mannequins feels a lot more like slivers than cadets did. Which that's always kind of been my, like, is cadets the slivers of this game? But I think mannequins might actually be, just because the synergy is kind of crazy. And having multiple backups that give cost reduction for your big payoff card is just kind of insane. I remember the first time I saw the... Uh, the oh god I can't remember the name of it but it's the uh, the Shantoto effigy I remember thinking to myself this is a weird card what does this like fit in it's the first mannequin backup and it makes whatever color you need it to make it was just an odd card at the time but it makes perfect sense it's really good it's like the ideal turn one drop and then you have delusionary warlock for that deck which is also real good. Okay, so we got one there, we got one there. Do we need any supports? Nah, double supports fine. Maybe put one more over here for aesthetic reasons. Even though it's kind of clipping into the wall, maybe not. Maybe not. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Indeed. Big brain, indeed. Sometimes when I'm playing this game and building things, I feel like I need to put like OSHA compliance and safety signs everywhere. 
stay away from here, watch out for the ledge, slippery when wet, you know, the basics. Uh huh. Continue that across? Sure. No, I need wood. That's what she said. Now I'm carrying too much. Yeah, it'll be interesting too. Um, I know like Schnell and a couple other people in the online community have been talking about doing no ban list tournaments recently, which I kind of think is a fun idea, but really I know the card that needs to actually be banned and that's just simply Riku. Riku needs to stay banned no matter what the format is, uh, with the exception of maybe like if it's first six. Oh, what'd you just open? Something real juicy, I'm guessing. Full art something? Uh, let's say a Fusoya. Boom! Okay, okay. <laughs> You're good, you can stop opening. Just sell off the rest of the packs and it's all disappointment from here. Actually, I was super happy, so I opened... I got a case, I opened four boxes total. Um, out of the four boxes, I got all three of the Legacy Full Arts. So the Fusoya, the Vivi, and the Fina, which the Fina looks friggin' gorgeous, I have to say. Um, and then I got that Lightning Full Art, so I was super happy. Super, super happy. But yeah, that is... Okay, that's a, that's a good start there. It's a real good start. Been trying to play around with that Lightning to figure out ways to break her but nothing's happened quite yet technically if you respond by bouncing her to her own ETB those things are gone forever it's kind of like uh, an exile effect like oblivion ring and magic which is kind of neat wanna do that maybe Aesthetically, that doesn't look great. Put some stuff under this floor, hide it. Maybe that's what I'll do. Put doors here and put this as a storage area. Yeah, we'll call that good. I'll just block all that off. So we got that there, we got that there. This is kind of open in the back, which is a little bit annoying to me. Um, for symmetry's sake. Even though that only bugs me. World save in 30. Good to know. Um, okay. What are we going to do next? Next... I 
want to make a nice short wall going along here. Ooh. This game, whenever the world saves, it goes a little bit haywire. That might just be on my personal setup, but it likes to act a little funky. Yeah, it'll be really interesting once we get uh, tournaments back up and running to see what people who haven't been playing paper in, you know, over a year end up coming up with. Getting a whole bunch more people back into it to get their takes on things. It'll be interesting. It's like, what does Angelo play? What does Richard play? What does Merlin play? What do any of the normals come back and play? I have a feeling Justin will come back with WAP of some sort still. Or he could be doing something Cat 9, since that's always been a favorite of his. Fire Water is not terrible right now. It's always just kind of solid. Definitely not as good as it could be, but it got some pieces. Uh, Nolan just played a really interesting deck last night. There was a FFT. Um, it was Water Lightning. Water Lightning Earth. And the new Agrius, the new, well, the Opus 12 Ramza, the new Ramza, actually. Um, there's there's some good payoffs for FFT, just like value payoffs. Okay, so that's good enough for that. I almost feel like I should do those instead might look better. Yeah, yeah, that's more log cabin -y. It looks better. Gonna have to actually go and get some more core wood, though, which kind of sucks. But I guess I can go and get that all together for another stream. And just use what I have for now. Yeah, it was funny too with that full art lightning because no one actually knows the price. The the ones that are posted on TCG, like last time I checked, there was one posted for like five hundred. Um, there were ones posted. I want to say like two something. Actually, let me check right now. What do we got here? TCG. Lightning. There's the regular one. Where's the full art? Cheapest one on TCG currently is three sixteen. Um, yeah, this game's gone a little bit crazy. I I would say those are probably more gonna settle into that like one to one fifty range, but I have been wrong with these things before. Um, this game is a little bit crazy, especially with the lack of supply. Thankfully, Opus thirteen doesn't look like it's gonna be is quite as out of supply as uh, Opus 11 was with all the uh, the craziness over the Tifa and Sephiroth full arts. Speaking of prices that are absurd, so two set releases ago and you have cards that are three to five hundred dollars that are actually selling at that price? I just, I don't understand. I don't understand it. I mean, yeah, I understand Tifa is like everyone's waifu, and Sephiroth is everyone's, you know, favorite bad guy. 
and Final Fantasy VII has been in the consciousness of everyone recently. But still, that's it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, but no. It's it's really just the waifu tax. I mean, no one's actually playing Tifa is the problem. Tifa was played for a while, but I haven't seen Tifa played in half a year. Haven't really been seeing her show up in any results anywhere. She's really good, don't get me wrong. Really, really good. But, and I think the, the problem is, it's since it's Final Fantasy VII, basically any of the FF7 cards are just going to go up in price over time because it's the most popular uh, title by far. But, I don't know. I, I just think it's a little bit ridiculous myself. That full art shouldn't be a $500 full art. Yes, it's one in every master case, so you're looking at one every 12 boxes. Um, but still, that's that's a little ridic. Little ridiculous. And it's also that price for a card that's still in print. I was talking with Nolan yesterday about how I think they need to uh, get a rain on some of these promos that were supposed to be released this last year that never found a way to get out. Um, so like the Chilenka promo and the uh, the Zack promo you know they they should just say screw it we're going to print more of these we're going to hand them out we're going to make it so they're actually accessible as opposed to like the Zack you know if you didn't go to that one thing back right before or right as the pandem pandemic was hitting you know you didn't get it you were screwed Yeah, I get very exhausted looking at those Facebook groups, too. It's it's too much, man. It's way too much. It's ridiculous. Okay. Time to start building our next floor. Well, and especially the, the Facebook groups have gotten so bad because it's just all scalpers now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fun. We used to control the market, but that was just simply because we sold more product than just about any other account on the, uh, the West Coast. You know, hopefully we'll get back to that point, but who knows? All I know is I hope we get our crystal cup back. So that'll make me real sad if we don't. I think we earned another one. And TJ and I have been talking about ways to make things bigger and better, as always. Have some streaming ideas, to say the least. So this floor is going to be interesting because we're going to, I think, eh, we need to do another stairway up.
Another stairway up for all the drunk guests. placement. Really wrong placement. Rain, stop. Please stop, Rain. I don't need you. Maybe make that one a single staircase. Yeah, that seems right. invited you. Oh, is that one just going to go? No, that's too high. Very anal about my stair placement. And now it's slightly in the rock, whatever. Whatever. Why is that different height-wise? Ah, uh, it's gonna drive me crazy. That's gonna drive me nuts. Well, I think on that bit of wet disappointment here, I'm going to uh, let the rain just wash me away take this whole place out to the foundation and call it a, call it good for the day um yeah it was good chatting with you as per usual junior hopefully i'll be seeing you irl sooner than later otherwise that is going to do it for the day thanks for joining me here uh for a little bit more valheim gonna be streaming some more valheim next week yet again 2 p.m pacific standard time uh, got some magic content coming up on Friday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then, of course, back to some retro on Mondays at 7.30 p.m. That will do it. Feel free uh, to hit that like, subscribe, whichever platform you're watching on currently. I will post the VODs over on YouTube afterward. But that will do it. Thank you, thank you. I will see you guys all later. Have a good one.